All right, everybody. 15 rep day here on the incline press. I've got 130 for 14. 130 for 15 is the goal. I've just got done taking a week off. Uh, this is the last week of my bulk. Last week in a surplus is Friday. So I'm going to Sunday in a surplus and it's cutting it and starting the, the bulk, starting the cut and going to really see, you know, all this mass that I've packed on and get as lean. So I, I should be the biggest I've ever been muscular wise. And now the goal once I start cutting is to get as lean as I've ever been. So bringing in the best package, the best physique that I've, you know, ever had in my entire life. That's the goal to get as, as like just as lean as I want to be, which is very fucking lean. So anyway, let's see if we make some gains here after a week off. I don't know if I said 130 on the bar though. So I mean, just some landmine presses. All right, so that's gains. Good gains there. On the chest. Oh, like, oh, I'm telling you, start. So that was gains there. I could tell I was going here a little more, here a little bit there. That's just from a week not doing this exercise. And this is one of the, this is the least done exercise in my chest. Well, as much as I do, it's the same as my I do paper crossovers, but start if you're on a deload week come back with your lightest rep day or just come back if you don't have a super light rep day come back to a lighter rep day um because like i said i don't know if, what day i'm putting this in my blog this is a separate video or what but i've done deload weeks and come back and hit like my heaviest rep day and i'm like substantially substantially weaker so come back with your higher rep days after a deload or just after a week if you're not being able to lift. And as you'll see, you can make some gains. Stoke though, I've decided I'm going to do a upper body today, come back either tomorrow or Sunday and hit my legs, AKA deadlifts and uh, standing calf raises. And then I'm gonna get right into the cut. Go ahead and drop the calories down and start taking off the fat. Now I was looking at my physique earlier in the mirror and I mean like full just butt naked all the way down legs and everything. I was like really? And they're seeing I'm always assessing my physique like you know does anything look unproportional? Does one thing look too big, one thing look too small, whatever. And really the only thing that looks unproportional to my physique is my my, my whole midsection. It's just so much fat on it. It's just this is the only part that looks too big and it just throws the whole stakes off. That's why getting lean is like, you can really see what you have. All right, in the clip here, my camera's about to die. I want to save a little bit of juice for some other clips.